Hey YouTube, this is TechFlink9. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot your GSM Galaxy Nexus phone on a Mac. You can see on my screen they have a Mac, and you can see my Galaxy Nexus phone right here. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on a Mac. Now, if you want to know how to do it on Windows, I have it right here in the corner right here in the annotation on how to do it on Windows. So, if you're interested in doing Windows, do watch that video slash step-by-step -step guide in the description. So first thing you'll be doing is entering into bootloader mode. So just power off your device. Just hold on the power and power it off. Okay, now it's powered off. We're going to be holding down the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Hold down all three until you feel vibration. Okay, felt it, let go. Now plug in your uh, micro USB and the USB to the USB port. So just plug it in. Make sure you guys can see that properly. Okay, now you can see that I have a little zip file right here. Download it. It will be in the description of the video, like always. So the description of the video. Just open that up, and it, Mac will automatically automatically extract it. Okay, you got that folder. Move it to your downloads folder. So downloads and just move it right there. Now I can just close out your downloads folder, close out everything as long as you transferred it, and open up terminal. And right away we're going to be typing in CD downloads, enter. Now CD Galaxy Galaxy Nexus Unroot Mac, enter. Now we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash mac bootloader space bootloader dash maguro dash prime la03 dot img enter. That gives you all these options. Okay. Now we're going to be typing in dot slash fastboot dash mac reboot dash bootloader enter and now we'll reboot your bootloader like you can see on the screen now it's rebooted and now we're going to be flashing the radio so we're going to dot slash fastboot dash mac Flash radio, radio dash MAGURO dash I nine two fifty XXLA zero two dot IMG enter. Okay, now it's sending the radio. So this will uh, flash the stock radio and stock everything else. Okay, as you can see on the screen, it says okay right here. Now we're going to be rebooting the bootloader once again. Dot slash fastboot dash mac space reboot bootloader. Enter. All right. Now we're going to go dot slash fastboot dash mac dash w space image dash y a k j u dash imm 76i dot zip enter and we're pressing W enter And now we're going to be doing dot slash fastboot dash mac oem lock. And right here, before I press enter, you can see that it's red and it says unlocked if you ever rooted your phone or installed Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we're going to lock that back up. So if you want to ever send it to your manufacturer, just 
press enter and it will lock your bootloader and now you can see right here on the screen it changed to locked right there so I can't zoom in but you can see more specifically on your phone so now we're done so we're just gonna press start start right here and it will reboot your phone and when your phone is rebooted you'll be on a fresh ice cream sandwich stack um, stack ROM or version, Android version so let's just wait until this is finished rebooting I will be editing this part because the rebooting will take a while because this is the very first time rebooting like you first bought your phone so I'll be right back alright now you can see right here that it's on the start screen like you usually when you first bought it or factory reset it so I'm just going to skip through and show you that back on 4.1.4 Let me try to focus it. I'll give you a better look. And there you go, 4.1.4 .4, right there. So that is how you unroot your phone back to stock completely and how to get it ready if you're going to be sending it back to manufacturer or your carrier and you don't want them to let you know that you rooted your phone or anything. So thanks for watching guys, this is Tefnik9 on how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone GSM only. Sorry Sprint and Verizon, there's not a guide for me because I don't have that type of phone. So sorry about that guys, it's not universal or anything. But don't, please don't forget to subscribe, that does help me out a lot. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to rate or comment if you need any more help or anything like that. And don't forget to check out androidtech.blogspot.com and check that boxbot.com for great reviews and tutorials and Android 7 for all these tutorials for Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note, and Skyrocket. Thanks for watching, guys.